morning. It's fantastic to see you all. Welcome to Build. So Microsoft recently gave a presentation at the Microsoft Build 2023 event that really shocked the AI industry. The news they released was quite surprising, and I think it was a reaction to all the crazy updates Google released during their I.O. conference. So which AI rollouts did Microsoft unveil, and how did they shake up the industry? Keep watching till the end of the video to find out. So one of the highlights of Microsoft's announcement is the integration of the Bing search engine right into ChatGPT. This unexpected move caught everyone off guard and has serious ramifications. By combining the power of ChatGPT and Bing, Microsoft aims to deliver higher quality and more timely answers to user searches. The default search experience within ChatGPT now seamlessly incorporates Bing, providing real-time results and fresh content. This integration also includes citations, with links leading users directly to the source. The biggest advantage that other AI tools such as Google Bard had over ChatGPT was its access to the internet. I think that Microsoft and OpenAI really felt the pressure to respond. So how did Microsoft manage to pull off such an enormous update? Well, in a recent tweet, OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, hinted at the upcoming release of plugins and browsing features. Shortly thereafter, Microsoft swiftly rolled out a major update to Bing, introducing browsing capabilities alongside ChatGPT. This move effectively outmaneuvers Google's Bard, which had been gaining popularity due to its ability to extract data from the internet. With the Bing integration, Microsoft aims to position ChatGPT as the go-to AI, not only for answering questions, but also for providing a seamless browsing experience. The race for AI dominance is heating up, and Microsoft's quick response only proves how competitive the AI space currently is. Microsoft's innovations don't stop at the Bing integration. They also introduced interoperability between ChatGPT and Bing for plugins, creating a unified experience for users. This means that plugins developed for ChatGPT will now seamlessly function in Bing as well. Their demonstration showcased the integration of Zillow and Instacart plugins. Here's a short clip showing Zillow's awesome functionality, so you have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. And what we're going to show you now is I'll do a search here for houses in Chicago, and I can ask for a set of criteria, learn a little bit about the neighborhoods. Uh, and now I can automatically call Zillow by saying, hey, give me three houses in a certain price range that meet my criteria. And what you can see is now I get these great options, and I'm also gonna get all of the other great things you get with Bing, like helpful city guides and maps and prompts. So as you can see, Microsoft's strategy here is clear. They are targeting Google's Bard by delivering similar capabilities but with a more streamlined user experience. I, for one, am very excited about this because we, as users, are benefiting from this war. But that's not all. The competition further extends between Microsoft and Google into the realm of auto-generated programming. That's why Microsoft unveiled Windows Copilot, their AI-powered assistant, which is integrated right into Windows itself. As you can see here, it's pretty similar to Bing's search bar. Windows Copilot assists in navigating documents, finding relevant files, and analyzing document content. With Windows 11 and dedicated AI software, Microsoft is stepping into new territory and providing us with an array of AI-powered tools. I'm really excited about Copilot, guys. So what's next on the agenda? The AI Hub. But before we get into that, we just want to ask you to hit the like and subscribe button because the AI that controls the YouTube algorithm needs that to boost our video. So Microsoft is paying close attention to the AI market and are, of course, also seeing the surge in AI programs and applications. So now they introduce the AI Hub. As you can see, it's a platform where developers can showcase their AI creations and an ecosystem for sharing and discovering new AI programs. Their aim is to create a vibrant community of developers and users. So for us as users, this centralized hub will undoubtedly become the go-to destination for finding and downloading the most popular and useful AI tools. I'm really looking forward to using this. At the end of the presentation, Microsoft unveiled Azure AI Studio, a comprehensive platform for developing and training custom chat GPT models using OpenAI's infrastructure. Let me show you a short clip so you have a better idea what I'm talking about. The next thing for us, which is really exciting, is AI Studio. This is the full life cycle 
tool chain for you to be able to build your intelligent AI apps uh, and your co-pilots. Everything from being able to train your own models uh, to be able to then ground, whether it's open AI or any open source model uh, with data of, that you bring, built-in uh, vector indexing in Azure Search, uh, built-in support for RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation support, um, built-in support for prompt engineering with prompt flow and orchestration, uh, and of course, built-in support for perhaps the most important feature, which is AI safety. One of the things that we've been hard at work is to build into the tool chain AI safety. It's, it's, we, we've been at work on AI safety for the last five years. We have principles which we have translated into a core set of processes that we implement across our engineering stack. And then of course we have all of the compliance and oversight. So the AI race is heating up and these recent developments prove that the competition between tech giants is as fierce as ever. As you can see, Microsoft is really stepping up to the plate and is rolling out new features faster and faster. That's of course great news for us AI enthusiasts. So what are your thoughts about their integration of Bing with chat, GPT, interoperability with plugins, and the introduction of Windows Copilot? Let us know in the comments. Can't get enough of AI? Here are some awesome videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the world of AI. Thanks for watching.